Life without electricity was hard. But since we started exploring electricity sometime in the 18th century and kind of taming it by the 19th, it has become an inseparable part of our lives. But not all of electricity was always understood, right? Ancient Greeks used this to amaze and to entertain. They learned then when wood is rubbed against a rod made up of amber, something magical happens. The amber rod is able to lift light objects like feathers or bits of paper. You can try this at home as well. Rub a woolen fabric against a plastic comb or a ruler scale and you'd see that the comb magically begins attracting bits of paper. In fact, it even attracts a thin stream of water that you keep it next to. This isn't really magic. This happens because of what we now understand as electric charges. Electric charges appear on the surface of these materials. Rubbing causes transfer of charges and there are two types of charges which we happen to call positive and negative for ease of referring to them. Very interesting things happen when charges in materials interact with one another. Things like attraction, movement and energy. All that is because of electricity. Speaking of attraction, movement and energy, here's something super attractive that you should definitely move towards with a lot of energy. Byjuice, the learning app. Download the app for more such amazing video content, mock tests, assignments, games and so much more. For now, back to falling in love with learning. Mind you, not having electricity does not mean that us as humans did not progress for thousands of years, right? There were mechanical solutions to serve our needs. For instance, there were windmills and water mills. Now in a water mill, flowing water was used to turn a large wheel around. And this turning wheel would in turn later grind grains or cut metals. Windmills were almost the same, except that it was driven with the flow of air or wind. Flowing water, water current. Flowing air, air current. Now with time, we came to understand that flowing charges could also be tapped into very usefully. Flowing charges, electric current. Now many mechanical devices that were being used were slowly replaced by electrical ones. Grain grinding, metal cutting, lifting water from wells, street and home lighting, fans, coolers and so much more became electricity driven. And this has made large power grids, thousands of kilometers of electrical lines that bring electricity into our homes, our offices, our cities and our means of life across industries we rely on and are so dependent on this form of energy, we take electricity for granted. I hope you take small steps that move into leaps <laughs> in learning about and understanding electricity. Sometime in the future, I hope you recall these days back of learning the basics when you are working on the latest technological marvels of them. And I hope to play a very small role to help you get started. For more such electrifying content, download Byju's The Learning App.